yesterday, a student from Morocco asked me uh, about the difference or similarity between these terminologies. And so she shared her confusion related to understanding these terminologies. So in this presentation, I would like to discuss the points of similarity and possible difference between these uh, research terminology. So first of all, what is a research design? Well, a research design actually is the overall framework of, of a research and it gives the whole structure to the research process. A research design in social sciences could be, for example, quantitative research design or qualitative research design or mixed method research design. And then these are the main categories of or the main types of research designs. These research designs could be further subdivided into subcategories or sub research designs. For example, quantitative researches could be experimental researches, could be descriptive researches, or could be correlational researches. Similarly, qualitative research designs could be case studies or it could be ethnographies. And similarly, um, there are other subcategories inside the research designs. So the research designs are basically in the, the structure or the framework that we gave to a particular research study, keeping in view the research aims and objectives of the research process. So if our basic aim is actually to explore a phenomena, generally the research design that we will follow will be more qualitative, explorative type of research designs. While in more quantitative, confirmative type of research design, uh, we will use quantitative research designs. And if our aim actually is uh, more focused on the ends to achieve rather than the means, and if our approach is more pragmatic towards finding solution to problems or exploring issues, in that case we will use mixed methods research design. So as you see that the research design is a more overarching overall framework of the research study and it is uh, developed keeping in view the research objectives, the research questions and the aims um, of the uh, and also the practical realities, the practical implications in the research process. The research uh, methods uh, terminology that we make use of in the research context is actually something to do with the data collection methods, the data analysis methods, and the authentication or validation techniques and methods that we use. For example, in the research methods section, we could refer to data collection methods such as questionnaires or interviews and observations. And similarly, the validation and authentication process processes um, uh, might also be referred to in this section. So how were actually uh, how was the research process validated or the data collection and analysis processes validated. This section will also refer to how the sample was selected and how was access obtained to the data sources. And so this is a more practical uh, component or practical side of the research process where we refer to the uh, uh, which we refer to as the research method section. Then the research methodology is actually 
the rationalization and justification of the research design and the research methods. This actually means that in the research methodology is more like the rationalization, the justification of the research process, the various decisions that we make during the research process, the justification of the research design, the justification of the data collection, and um, analysis processes and the justification of the data collection techniques plus the justification of the validation process. Um, so in other words, the research methodology section uh, is actually not a section because all of these different concepts, they are quite overlapping and uh, we, uh, perhaps we cannot clearly distinguish research design from research methodology and research methods because generally all of these three refer to the how of the research process. In other words, how is the research, how has the research process been conducted overall? And so when we decide on the how of the research process, or in other words, the research design and the research methods section, we also need to give justification and rationalization of our choices or of our selection of the research design and the research uh, methods. And there comes the research methodology, which actually gives theoretical support and a rationalization uh, to the selection of our research design and research method section. So as you can see that overall these uh, different terms that we use are quite overlapping and there is a lot of similarity, uh, less distinction uh, between them because they actually refer to the basic question of the how of research or in other words how the research process takes place but there is some level of distinction between them as well and that is that the research design refers to the overall framework of the research and it uh, refers back to it all it enforces the research objectives and research questions. The research methods section is something that is more focused on the practical data collection, analysis, and authentication processes, while the research methodology refers to uh, the process of rationalization and justification of the research design and the research methods for this particular research study. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye.